Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, um, I gotta say, the readings today have been so chaotic, you guys. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's not a really good flow to them or something. There's a lot of chaos going on behind the scenes, all right? And it may be affecting you. You could be picking up on it. I feel like there's a lot of fighting going on, people getting their karma, people breaking up. Um, it could it could even end up being violent, okay? Um, you may be hearing things like broken glass, people screaming, right? Um, it could be affecting you today. So be flexible with yourself. And honestly, with the way my readings have been this morning, guys, the best way for me to get grounded in a reading is to use the flash deck. Okay, so we're going to do a flash reading today and see and look at what I've got. A storm. This is a karmic storm. <sighs> I can't make that up. It's a karmic storm that's happening behind the scenes and I, with a sneaky snake. So this is a toxic storm that's happening. Okay, and I feel like you're going to be picking up on this energy. You are. I feel like it could even stop you in your tracks. Like, what is this? what is going on i didn't feel anxious or angry five minutes ago you're going to realize this isn't your energy okay it's like the karmic storm energy guys it's very chaotic it, um my readings today have felt like they, they felt messy or something you know um i can't quite put my finger on it so anyway i'm getting grounded by using my flash deck um so this reading is for the collective, okay? Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind, all right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. The, the likes, all of my subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so yeah, that's the toxic. This is that chaotic energy I've been feeling, picking up in the readings. And it is, it's like we're dealing with multiple people here and more people are being pulled into fights, okay? I'm feeling a, de a defensive energy here, not just from the karmic, but from your person defending you now. People are realizing here um, that the karmic is really just a hater. There could have been some spell work done that's being sent back to these people as well. Okay, because this can be spell work, these two cards together. It's just causing so much chaos, and I feel like it may affect you today. Okay, because <laughs> it sure as crap is affecting me today, I'm telling you. Yeah, people are getting their karma. This is the karmic chair, the naughty chair. Sit down and learn a lesson. Okay, they're getting their karma right now. It's stirring up the energy. It, um, I, and I keep saying it, it's like this explosive chaotic energy. Okay, um, kind of coming from nowhere. All right, so it's very unpredictable, very volatile energy. There's a lot of rage. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of screaming. There's broken things, people breaking stuff. Um, fighting, right? People going against a whole entire group. Um, it's it's horrible. What is this all about? I feel like too. There's a masculine energy here that could be sleeping on a couch someplace, wanting to start something new. There's a masculine that wants out of the situation, away from the karmic. They totally realize the snake that they've been around. Okay, yeah, they want to say goodbye. Look, they want to stop this. Say goodbye. Okay. And this is all happening this summer. It, I feel like this is the energy that's happening right now. Okay. For So from now through the end of the summer, we could be feeling this energy. Um, somebody could be working on building their finances here so they can possibly make a move, a house move, location change. The um, Money is an issue. I feel like money is an issue for someone here. And who, uh, somebody else is watching what you're doing and trying to copy what you're doing here, collective. I'm seeing you as divine feminine energy here. They're watching you, and this can be um, doing the same thing you're doing. I feel like this is the karmic, man. Um, 
and there's a masculine here that feels like an idiot because now they're starting to see everybody in their inner circle um, for who they really are. They're starting to see that these people never were really genuine. They didn't have their back. You know, they, uh, they may have betrayed them. They may have been just using them. They're looking at everyone. This is also hermit energy. Um, isolating themselves right now. I've picked up on, on that in all of my readings today. Okay, so yeah, this is what's going on. This karmic is enraged. They're, they're very toxic. And I feel like they're ready to snap. I feel like they are snapping. I take that back. They already are snapping. But they're under major judgment, okay? Um, this is a judgment card. This is somebody getting into trouble. So somebody could be in a lot of trouble here. They're being um, sat in the naughty chair, being called to the office, that kind of thing. Um, they could be getting experiencing some issues at work, um, in their home life, with their children, with their family, with their friends. Like it's chaos in every part of their life right now because they're losing this masculine. This masculine now, in hermit energy, they're going to start doing the work. They're going to start having the major realizations that they've needed to have, okay? Um, they're finally um, being alone, and that's what we kind of want to see right now, because um, the masculine needs to be in isolation in order to do their work, in order to have these realizations about everybody that they've been around, so that they can pull away, okay, because they're toxic. Yeah, they don't want to put in any more effort in the situation, okay? They don't. Look at the tiny little effort word on the giant gymnasium wall. They feel like an idiot. So I feel like this person may be even leaving their home, trying to find a couch to sleep on, maybe even at a friend's house. Okay, they're pulling away here from this karmic. Yeah, because it's getting flushed down the toilet. It's getting flushed down the karmic toilet. I'm telling you, that's what this is. Um, and it is, is, the energy is just crazy out here today, you guys. I don't, and here's a storm is coming, and we haven't had rain in a long time out here. It's been sunny skies, and all of a sudden, it's cold outside. In the middle of summer, it's cold. Like, you, need, you almost need a jacket to be outside right now. And a big storm is about to roll in. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Yeah, and what did I say about the cold? What did I just say? So I feel like that's just a major confirmation. Okay, listen, listen, collective. Uh, this energy is crazy, and I feel like you're going to feel the effects of this. Okay, you really are. So try to stay grounded, all right? Because I see you kind of being alerted here, Divine Feminine. Like, what is going on, right? And here's the garbage people are outside picking up the garbage cans. I'm telling you, karmics are they're either the karmics being thrown out or your person is leaving and getting rid of all these people, all of these people that they're looking at now. They all gots to go, okay? It's time to take out the trash. That's what this is. It's time to take out the trash. You know, I feel like this whole time they've been trying to repair things with people um, that um, temporarily, they were temporary fixes, or this is something they should have just stayed in for so long and gotten out of, you know. Um, what else can you show me here for the collective? Yeah, it's time to take out the trash. And that's from... Um, Everybody loves Raymond when um, Raymond's brother broke up with with his wife because she was karmic. I'm telling you. Yeah, they're realizing, though, the same road that they've been on, they just can't fix it anymore. This is something that can't be fixed. Okay? So this masculine is pulling away or walking away from everyone. And does it hurt? Yeah, I'm sure your person feels hurt. They feel betrayed. They feel like there was a setup, okay? All to keep this, this masculine away from you. You know, they feel very betrayed. But I'm telling you here with the rice, they're getting the messages from the divine right now. This is sustenance. 
they're getting all the messages they need to move forward they're being shown a lot of things. And as, the, as that happens, this is your person having an enlightenment. This is them um, awakening, okay? Getting the spiritual messages, listening to their intuition. And the karmic is freaking out, you guys. Um, whoever this karmic is, they've got some mental instabilities that are only getting worse, all right? Um, one minute they're fine and proper, you know, everything's cool. And the next minute they're like, bleh, freaking out. This is very, being very unpredictable, very volatile, possibly dangerous, possibly dangerous to themselves. Okay. Um, they could be very threatening right now, very embarrassing. They could be doing all that they can to cause like public um, humiliation or embarrassment for your person. I'm telling you, man, it's like a, it's like, it's not just affecting a small home. This is an energy that's um, encompassing like a whole entire community. Like if this karmic goes anywhere in public, man, they're snapping in public. Their friends, their families are seeing this. Every, the, the, the masculine is realizing that there's so many people involved here that they need to walk away from. You know, um, permanent. Yeah, look, the masculine is learning their lessons. This is learning. This is spiritual education. This is receiving the messages. This is being in hermit energy so that they can see everything clearly now. Okay. Um, and this is something that's, that's going to be permanent. And the, the, the karmic, look, the karmic is scared. The karmic is scared. Because your masculine is changing. And they can't stand that change. Okay? It's like they're having a reaction to it. It feels like an energetic allergic reaction. <laughs> that's really what it feels like. And just a lot of chaos starts. Okay? Um, things get overheated, things get blown out of proportion, things get, uh, they're just, they're freaked out. They're snapping here. They're losing their minds. They're losing their grip on the situation. They're losing all control. See, once your masculine gets the messages, it's there to stay. These are messages now that will absolutely change them permanently. Okay. And the, the karmic is losing all control there. The divine is actually in control. And, and um, so this karmic is out of control, and they're being hit with all kinds of karma at the same time. Okay, it's crazy energy, but your person is going to emerge from this an emperor. Having learned their lessons, seen everything, all the illusions are down with everybody who's, who they've been around. Okay? So they're going to be emerging from this an emperor, and they're going to come towards um, their uh, ten of cups here, which is you. Yeah, they're. I feel like they're leaving behind. Yep, they're leaving behind something that's toxic to come towards you, collective. Okay, this is ultimate wish fulfillment here. This is that rainbow. Okay. Destiny, it's a destiny card as well. Yeah, and they're being led to their happiness here. Everybody's being exposed behind the scenes. The karmic is being exposed as a liar and a karmic. Like this masculine, once they get this message, they're going to be told, the person you've been with, buddy, is a karmic. Get out of there. That's what they're being told. Okay? Get out of there. Um, and go towards the real one your destiny which is the divine feminine yep and here's the moving card on the bottom of the deck it was right in my hand and i didn't even notice yeah get out of there get out of there so um i feel like they are going to be on the move they're going to be leaving this karmic behind somebody's scared here too they may be afraid of this fake individual this karmic um because this is somebody who's fake even the children don't trust this karmic, okay? <laughs> For real. So I feel like this masculine is going to be worried about what the karmic is going to do as far as seeking revenge, right, and retaliating. Because um, it's really all about money here. 
money is an issue i don't know what this is either your person's been trying to build their finances so they can move that's that's one thing that they want to do okay they need to find a different place to live or somebody does and the karmic is feeling very threatened right now because their financial support is about to disappear right before their very eyes right <laughs> um yeah so they're they're scared because um, they have children here and they'll have no money. They may end up losing a place to live as well. They've been focused on hating you for so long. They may not even have a job. They, don't ha they haven't built anything for themselves because they've put all their focus and energy into hating on you. So they're, they're freaked. They are. Uh, the karmic is freaking out, and it's causing a huge storm, and they're snapping everywhere they go. You know, they could be taking their issues out on everybody around them as well. Um, it's also very embarrassing for this karmic because they've tried to get make people believe that they had a perfect situation where they were with this masculine. But um, now everybody is starting to see that this is really just a hater. Okay, I had that in the last reading as well. Yeah, then the divine is putting it out there. And I feel like um, they could even be exposing this karmic for cheating. I feel like somebody's been cheating here, and I feel like it's a karmic. So their secrets are being ex exposed. Um, the things that they tried to keep hidden, they're being exposed. Um, the fact that they're a karmic. It's being exposed. The fact that they're just a hater, exposed. The fact that they have mental health issues, it's all coming out into the open, guys. Okay, it is. Everybody, not just this masculine, but the people in their community, their friends, their family, they can see this karmic now for who they are. They're toxic. <laughs> This karmic, I'm telling you, they are um, losing their minds here. And it could get very volatile. It could get, um, it could get violent. It's definitely publicly embarrassing, okay? Because this karmic is snapping everywhere, all right? Very chaotic energy, you guys. I, I really... There's so much going on behind the scenes, and you are completely unaware of it besides what you're picking up on intuitively. I feel like you're, you're out here just living your best life, focused on you, right? Um, in your north node here, possibly working on a new creative project as well. Yeah, so this masculine goes to a friend, right? And he's like, I don't know what to do, man help me give me some advice i need some ideas i need a place to live right they need some help so they're going to a trusted friend to help all right and you know what the divine is here for them as well spirit is like no 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 come to us come to us come to us get in hermit energy right and come to us instead use your intuition open your mind we'll give you all the guidance you need right if you just trust in the messages just let them flow you know so yeah this masculine is seeking help and they could very well be praying to god and waiting for the answers they are they are having an enlightenment here all right so what else can you show me and that's what scares this karmic the most is that your person has changed and this change this change, once you let spirit into your life, you never want to go back to anything else. Okay? You don't. It changes your life. It changes you and how you see everything. So, um, yeah, this karmic knows um, that this change is going to be permanent. There's going to be no chance. And everybody sees them as a karmic hater now. Okay, somebody who freaks out. All right, so what else can you show me? Yeah, and there's the masculine. Leaving the situation, yep, with that on the bottom of the deck. Leaving the situation behind. I gots to go. I feel like um, they're, they possibly may be um, staying with a friend or planning on staying with a friend. Yeah, they're like, it's too cold here. 
it's too cold here um it just doesn't feel right they're feeling the chill of that negative energy i feel and they're like i'm gone i can't be here anymore so yeah this person is yep they're cutting out the karmic i'm telling you yeah they're cutting off the karmic they're cutting them off of financial support they don't want to talk to them or they're trying not to communicate with this person um they're leaving something behind sorry about that they're leaving a home situation behind they're leaving friends family members behind um to come towards the divine okay to to get on their divine path and i feel like as they leave this karmic behind they the karmic turns on some fake waterworks you know please don't go i'm so sad right <laughs> right um but this is fake you know it says sad but really look at that face man that's a fake sad this karmic's doing everything they can to stop this from happening but i'm telling you their worst nightmare is about to happen yep they're gonna have to get a job they're gonna have to make their own money they're gonna have to find a place to live they're gonna have to take care of their own kids these, they could have children involved in this and they might not even be your person's baby. You know, they're going to get exposed for cheating. They're going to get exposed and the whole community is going to know this person is off their rocker. Yep, and they're just a snake. Okay, there's two snakes. Both of these are, both these people are working together. They're both going to get exposed. Okay. I feel like they've done some spell work here as well. That's going to get exposed and returned to this karmic. They are living their worst nightmare right now. They're getting their karma. They're under judgment for all of this. And their life and reputation is about to be ripped to shreds because of their own actions. Okay. And your person is like, I'm Audi. Yep, world card. It's the end to that. It's the end. This is the world card in this deck because of the map. Okay? So that's a completion to a cycle. And your person wants to come towards a sweet one. This is a divine feminine card. It's been a long time since you heard from this person. But I feel like they're ready to be loyal to you now. They're learning their lessons. They're opening up to their spiritual lessons, right? Their spirituality. They feel sick over this. I feel like this person is going to come and tell you, I'm so sorry. And it's going to happen this summer. Okay, so get ready to hear from this masculine again. They are breaking free from this karmic mess. It is a mess, collective. Okay, it's a mess. All right, so um, a very chaotic energy as well. And you may be picking up on that too. You may have to just get grounded, you know. Take a moment for yourself, right? Um, do some cleansings. You may have to cleanse this energy, burn some sage, maybe take a spiritual bath, okay? Your person also, they're, they're on cleanup mode right now, probably packing bags, getting rid of the things that no longer resonate with them okay trying to clean up their life any toxicity yeah putting in that work right cutting people out sweeping the energy out i feel like this is you doing a cleansing on yourself because you're gonna know you're gonna have a deep knowing that the energy the chaotic mess that you're picking up on is not your energy it's not your energy collective. So do a cleansing, maybe even do a home cleansing, okay? Burn your sage. You just have this deep knowing of what's going on. You're very intuitive, okay? Yeah, and you know, you know that things are coming to an end here, but you're the one who's feeling the effects, okay? Well, they're, everybody's feeling the effects, but you're just feeling it too, because you're so intensely intuitive you can feel this ending here this karmic storm okay yeah and you just want to walk away from it some of you may you know that's another thing too another way for me to release negative energy is to just go for a walk um, and I find that the further I walk 
the more it kind of falls off of me in little layers, right? And then when I feel it's all gone, I turn around and I walk back. All right, so it could be something as simple as that. There's lots of different ways that you can ground yourself. Okay, there are. So do what works for you. Okay, get out into nature maybe, but yeah, you're, um, you're going to be picking up on this energy today, collective. You may even just need to get outside, out and about. All right. Um, or sit with yourself, right, until you feel better. But you're going to be picking up on that energy, man. You're going to be picking up on your person's energy and on the karmic's energy. And it's going to make you, it could make you feel sad. It may even give you headaches. It may make you feel, again, like you're being left behind, but you're not. That's the karmic's energy, okay? And if there's any spell work that's been done here, this is how they want you to feel. They want you to feel this way. So clear that energy, cleanse that energy, and ask the divine to help you. It's co-creation here. Ask them to get rid of any negative energy that's being sent your way. Okay, they will redirect it back to sender. It'll go back to sender automatically. So, you know, just um, stay prayed up and ask the divine to help you through this energy because it, it really is, it's, it could really mess you up, man, you know? So don't let yourself get into a funk. You're not picking up on, that's not your energy. That's somebody else's. This is karmic energy that's in a funk right now. <laughs> All right, so what else can you show me for the collective? happy yeah this is your energy once you clear that energy this is clearing the air fresh air right you're going to be happy again see that's that's what this is you feel the energy um from this situation that's dying off that's ending okay this is the energy you feel once you cleanse it out you're back to being happy i'm telling you i can't make it up so for whoever that's for um, just find whatever works for you to cleanse that energy and um, get grounded, right? Yeah, that's going to help you the most out of this whole entire reading today. And I'm telling you, this you're gonna you're gonna sense it. There's a major karmic storm in the background here. Okay. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.